New Jersey, the place where George Washington spent most of the war. New Jersey, the place that had more battles and skirmishes than anywhere else in the country. And New Jersey, where you had loyalists and patriots living next to each other. New Jersey's significance as the crossroads of the American Revolution was celebrated at Tusculum, the current home of Meredith Asplund and Tim Gardner, and former home of John Witherspoon, signer of the Declaration of Independence and former president of Princeton University. We're standing on what was perhaps dangerous ground for John Witherspoon during the American Revolution. As a signer of the Declaration of Independence, he was a target for the British and lived in hiding during the war. He moved here after the war ended and obviously was involved with the College of New Jersey, now Princeton University, as they began to rebuild. And while Washington did not sleep here, we know that he, just like you, had dinner here <laughs> when Congress met in Princeton in 1783. Crossroads is working on the state's 250th commemoration in a public-private partnership with our friends from the New Jersey Historical Commission. It's a big undertaking. Fire! Historical architects, interpretive specialists, and heritage tourism experts are assessing the state's many revolutionary sites with an eye towards promoting New Jersey as a premier revolutionary heritage tourism destination. I thank my fellow New Jerseyans uh, for having me here this evening. You will not let us forget New Jersey. And I can assure you that will not happen. We are encouraging all the states to uh, get on with it. Everyone tells us that it's a long time. It's a very short time. We will be setting up a campaign council to raise funds identified from the work of this assessment as well as an advisory council, which will work on commemorations and lasting educational contributions. Visitors to Tusculum got a tour of Witherspoon's home from architect T. Jeffrey Clark, who did work on the house for the current and past owners. Someone else is going to stop by, I believe. A messenger gave me this on the way. He's watering his horse now, I believe. Why, this is from the Secretary of the Treasury. What sort of business Alexander Hamilton might have here today? I haven't a clue. Do you know him? We've met. Supporters of the event were treated to a skit from the former homeowner, John Witherspoon, as well as Aaron Burr, who attended Princeton University, and Alexander Hamilton, who did not. I will say that I turned down Princeton. Princeton did not turn me down. Princeton denied my request, and thus denied themselves the opportunity to count me, as I said, as one of their alumni. So did they of me. However, I spent time in Elizabethtown studying hard for the next year and eventually was accepted. <laughs> uh, in the end, it's the student and not the school that makes the difference. We've had lots of dullards come through here and never amount to anything. <laughs> Every day I got to put on the boots of General George Washington was a good day. And they got to hear from Ian Kahn, who played General George Washington in the hit series Turn, Washington Spies on American Movie Classics. If you look at what happened in Trenton, if you look at what happened in Princeton, these key moments in this war, you realize there were so many different places, so many different ways that this war may very well have been lost. When we understand that, and we look at it from that perspective, and realize how fortunate so many of us are to live in this country, to call this country home, my belief, my understanding, is that we perhaps would take a little better care of it. What does this 250th anniversary give us the opportunity to do? Start again. Come back to the understanding and the realization of how fortunate we really are. Keep your work going forward, 2026. May we still be that republic when we get there. And may we, our generation, for our children, and for our children's children, begin to preserve it for the next 250 years. That is our responsibility. Thank you for doing your part.